Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with something a little different yet familiar as you would have seen a video like this being made in the past by another rugby league YouTuber, Mr. Luke Sports. Now I'm doing this because this was heavily requested by a subscriber. We finally got around to making the teams and of course by now you would have seen that it is wingers versus fullbacks and we're going to call this little uh, series, I guess, fantasy fixtures. As for me, I'll be playing as the lower rated team, which in this case are the wingers who are in 83 overall to the fullbacks 85. I've also jumped into the fan hub and created jerseys using the uh, the jersey creator in the fan hub so console users can download these teams and the jerseys themselves. But yeah, again, the series name will be called Fantasy Fixtures, the first game, wingers versus fullbacks. Let's go ahead and take a look at the settings and a deeper look into the lineup. Home ground for the wingers will be Central Coast Stadium. I did turn the uh, crowds off, so it should look pretty clean. As for the difficulty, you already know, we're playing on Legend. Uh, we'll go seven minute halves. Everything else is good to go. We'll go ahead and take a look at the lineup uh, through the manage lineup screen. All right, so the thought behind putting these teams together, you'll kind of get the gist of what I was going for when it came to the forward pack. Uh, based on how players play is where I tried to slot them in, starting with the back five, Josh Adokai at fullback, left wing, Daniel Dubow, left center, Selwyn Kobo, right center, the hammer, Hamiso Tabu Afodo, and right wing, Ronaldo Mulitalo. As for the halves, a bit tricky here, but we went with Jordan Rapana for halfback. We've also made him the goal kicker, and 5'8 for his ball playing ability, I guess, Alex Johnston. Front row for obvious reasons, Brian Toto, uh, Hooker, we went off Jacob Carraz, I didn't know who to throw at Hooker, but I went off the young, fast and tough Jacob Carraz. And the other front rower, we got Joseph Swat Ali, bit of a cheat code, he is a winger for the Roosters, so we should get a pass for that, but yeah, that's your front row, to all the meter eater, and we've seen what Swat Ali can do, coming off the back fence. Uh, the second row, we got Corey Oates, Ked Malmalo, and at lock, I went with Taylor May. Bench is interesting, but I did go for size. So we've got Nick Kotrick, Mika L.A. Rabalawa, Micah Sivo, and Greg Mazu for that, you know, for that size. All right, so the captain and skipper for the fullbacks, we've got James Tedesco, of course. Left wing, we've got Xavier Savage. Left center, AJ Brimson. Right center, Clint Gutherson. Right wing, Tom Chaboyevich. The halves is interesting, you know, there's more, uh, there's more diversity when it comes to fullbacks. And this is a pretty decent halves pairing if you ask me. Scott Drinkwater in the seven, Kalen Ponga in the six. Front row, again, we've got a meter eater in Dylan Edwards. The zippy, Ryan Pappenhausen at hooker and Latrell Mitchell for obvious physicality reasons as the other front rower. In the back row, we got Will Kennedy, Chance Nico Kluxter, and Dane Laurie for his uh, ball playing in the lock position. On the bench, again, tricky, but it's a fairly light bench. We only had light players left to be fair. We got Reese Walsh, Jaden Campbell, Sonia Taruva, bit of recency bias in that one, and Cody Ramsey. And leftovers, we had Avarillo and Temaide Martin. That's both squads. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And without further ado, Let's run it. As dope as the fan hub is, it's a bit of a letdown with the logo creator. As you can see here, when zoomed in, it's pixelated AF. I tried to make it as small as possible, but not too small, you know, just to minimize the uh, pixelation of the logos. As for the jersey designs, it's pretty cool actually putting a jersey together with the jersey creator as there are plenty of options we went simple tried to keep it clean and classic with the collar the sponsors as you can see the fullbacks got adidas the wingers got nike i know i know generic but <laughs> you gotta admit it does look pretty nice for the next fantasy fixture i'll definitely whip out photoshop for the design it's interesting because league life four is like a backs type of game or a backs dominance game when the game first came out you could make meters bulk meters of the big boys but for some reason they tamed it in a patch and now backs are pretty op if you uh especially if you choose to play cheesy but we don't play cheesy around here i mean unless we have to <laughs> unless we have to dip in our bag of cheese here this kick early wow we have no time to get back with the fox to attempt to save that little 40 20 game's feeling a little funny at the moment like the frames are dropping or something We'll deal with it though, as we attempt to hold the fullbacks out to their first attacking set, I guess. Their first raid on our try line. Chance hits the line. Oh, don't tell me it's drop down cheese to get them started. That'll be green lights for sure. Ain't no way he misses this. A trail will get the. No shortage of speed on deck. 
as they make another break. Oh, we'll take that. Give me that. Hammer on the chase versus Brimson. And Brimmer comes down with it. Speed on speed. Oh, look at the play from Dummy Half. Ryan Peppenhausen, and he gets that away. Holy. It's a nice little run. No shortage. Like I said, no shortage of speed when it comes to either team. The line breaks should go crazy in this game. Especially the, the line breaks of like short passes. Maybe plenty of sidesteps. Under the pump yet again. As they hit the lines as the last play. KP throws it up. Then the ball out left. To this go. Oh. Test that boot again. Come on, Johnston. Surely one of them can kick a 40 20. No distance on that. As Tedesco gets away from two yet again, these fullbacks. One, two, hands away. Second tackle. Struggling to make our changes, but we'll get them off. No worry. Heading the line here. Spotty drink. Last play. That's a knock on. Oh, don't glitch me. Nope, we're sweet. Need some uh, some strong carries here from the typicals. That's Karas of the Scoot. We have Mika Sivo. That's a great ball to Mazu. And he finds Sivo. Nice bit of uh, passing between the two. Two bench players. Alex Johnston just pins the ears back. I'm trying to zigzag around to be honest. This could be on though, short side. Beautiful sell on Cobo. Straight through the gap and there's no catching him. Nice little runaway try, nice little short ball. The two Broncos linking up. It took a bloody while but we eventually got over. Just in time too with the half coming to an end as Jordan Rappina ties it up. For sure if the game was like 10 and a half, there'd be plenty of points. But with seven, a limited amount of time here. I thought we could get through. I thought we could squeeze through. But the boys are setting up for more. Different play to the left. Alex Johnston's shut down though. Let's try one more time for the 40-20. Rapana. That looks on. As ugly as it looked. And the bounce is good. A 40-20. For Jordan Rapana. Who would have thought? I don't think we'd get there with uh, either of them. To be fair, the distance was trash, but League Life 4 works in mysterious ways. It's only the second, but we're going to pop it over the top. Cobo or Oates, either or, it's going to be Selwyn. Love that play, hitting the fullbacks with what we call the new classic. Usually we pass off that play, but the chip over the top works a treat. The two point conversion's good. We are up by six points. Ravalawa. Love saying his name, eh? <laughs> Three hands away. Last play. Smashing it up for Corey Oates. Oates versus Tommy. And Turbo comes down with it. He's held there. Two. Second. Dane Laurie. That was a wicked ball to Dylan Edwards. Just past halfway are the fullbacks. We're gonna get back on the board. And I'm struggling to make my changes. I saw Ali. And just the fray yet again for a second stint. As does Toobo. We'll chuck him. We'll chuck him at Hooker. See how he goes there. Last play for the fullbacks. That's way too deep, it looks like. An easy take for Tupo. This is probably their last crack to potentially. Send this into Golden Point extra time. Ever since we scored that try, we've been defending our backsides off pretty much. Was that touch? No, it wasn't. Nice. Thank the rugby league gods for that. I don't think we could hold out two back-to-back -back sets. 
as they come back to the short side here the fullbacks running out of ideas it looks like Walsh gets away from one defend scramble what a kick what a kick and what a defensive efforts from Alex Johnston a little too close for comfort we get there in the end though uh, 12 points to 6 fairly low scoring I think the next fantasy fixture will definitely bump the minutes up to 9 or 10 minute halves watch the points start pouring in once we do although it was low scoring we did score some pretty clean tries and that's basically the main goal of whatever challenge video we do make we're going to wrap it up there as always if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league related content or more content in general be sure to sub to the channel and don't forget to run straight that like button thanks for tuning in and I'll see you, 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 you. Later.